Hello and welcome back Slingshot owners, Brandon here with Slingmods.com and today we have our GT3 inspired rear wing, the player Slingshot. Now it's no secret that the Slingshot comes straight out of the box with some sinister looks, but there's always room for improvement, which is why we partnered up with a team over at Trickline to bring you guys this patent pending aluminum rear wing that's been inspired by the GT3 class of racing to add a bold visual statement to the rear end of your slingshot while following the unique body lines that the slingshot has to offer. This wing features both a pitch adjustment as well as one small set and one medium set of wing ends that really allow you to fine tune the look once installed. It's also compatible with all rooftop systems on the market and made 100% right here in the USA. Now, if you want to take things up a notch, we also offer an optional plug and play LED lighting kit for the backside of the wing that really adds to that sinister look while also increasing rear end visibility for motorists falling behind you. Now, in addition to the LED lighting strips, we also partnered up with the team over at Tough Skins to bring you guys a bunch of optional colored accent kits giving you the ability to customize up to four different parts of the wing. These Tough Skins peel and stick kits are available in over 36 different colors, including real carbon fiber, and are available for the wing ends, the front portion of the wing, the middle section of the wing, and the rear section of the wing. You can even mix and match colors to create a truly unique wing design. Both the wing itself and the included mounting brackets are powder coated black to flow with the looks of the rear body panels and includes all necessary hardware for straightforward installation. So now follow me as I walk you through the installation process on one of our shop slingshots. Now, although this wing is compatible with our factory license plate bracket, most of you will be opting for our license plate relocator kit which moves your license plate down to your swing arm and allows for both horizontal and vertical mounting options. But if you'd like to run the wing with the factory license plate bracket, you'll simply remove this center T40 Torx bolt since this bolt location will be used to mount up the wing bracket. We're personally going to run the swing arm mounted license plate relocator kit on this slingshot, so we'll be removing the entire stock license plate assembly. Now, I won't be going over the install of that license plate relocator kit in this video since we've already done it in a previous video, which I'll link for you in the description below. Start by unplugging your factory license plate light and then unscrew these three T40 Torx screws. So that you can remove your factory license plate holder. Then unscrew these two T40 Torx screws and set them aside since you will not be reusing them. Now it's important to mention here that if you opted for our optional LED lighting strips for the back side of the wing, you'll need to install the Y harness that's included with that lighting kit by connecting the single end of the Y harness to the factory license plate plug coming off your slingshot. Then connect one of the available ports on the other end of the Y harness the extension wire that's coming off your license plate relocator kit. That connection will now allow your license plate relocator kit to turn on with the ignition. Finally, you'll have one plug left that we'll be using to power the LED strips on the back side of the wing later in the video. So for now, just tuck the excess wires up and out of the way, but let that unused plug hang down so you can access it later once the wing is fully installed. Next, add a little dab of removal thread lock to the three stainless steel bolts included with the kit. And then, starting with the smaller one, add a washer and slide it up through the middle hole on the stabilizer bracket. Then through the large mounting bracket, add the small silver spacer and then screw it into the middle hole from your factory license plate holder, leaving it finger tight for now. Then you can take the longer bolts and do that same thing for the other two outside holes. Hey, hey. 
Next, you can take a 10 millimeter socket wrench and tighten them down the rest of the way, making sure not to over tighten. Now we can assemble the wing. So start by lining up the three holes on the wing arm with the three holes on the center plate and slide in the longer four millimeter Allen head screws for both sides. Then take the smaller center plate and slide it onto the six bolts from the bottom side. Add a small black washer to each. And then top them all off with a 10 millimeter nut, leaving them all finger tight for now. Next, you can attach the mounting tabs to the underside of the wing, making sure that the angled notch matches the angle of the wing. Then slide in the smaller 4mm Allen head screws up through the wing, then through the tab, adding a washer and nut to each. Now line up the wing tabs so that they're on the outside of the vertical bracket arms. Slide in one of the smaller 4mm Allen head bolts through the front hole. And then the longer bolt through the rear hole. Adding a washer and nut to both, leaving them finger tight for now. Then repeat for the other side. Next, you can go back through and tighten down the rest of the wing hardware. Now you can install the small or medium wing ends by lining up the holes and sliding in two of the smaller four millimeter Allen head screws and adding a washer and nut to both, tightening them down so that they're nice and snug without over tightening. Then repeat for the other side. Finally, we can attach the two center stabilizer arms by adding a washer to one of the four remaining longer bolts, sliding it in through the top of the stabilizer arm, then through the bottom of the wing bracket, and topping it off with the washer nut finger tight for now. And then do the same thing for the bottom of the mount. repeating that same process for the other stabilizer arm. Then go back through and tighten them down the rest of the way, making sure not to over tighten. Now, for those of you that opted for our optional LED strips, start by test fitting the strips to the stabilizer arms with the wired end facing down so you can see how they will align. Next, use an alcohol wipe to thoroughly clean the surface area and let that sit for a minute to dry. 
Then once that's dry, peel off a small section of the protective backing tape, line it up where you want it, and then press down firmly to adhere into place, peeling back small sections of backing tape as you go. And then just repeat that same process for the other side. Next, take the Y splitter and plug both of those LED strips into it. Then plug the other end into that harness we left hanging down earlier. Now turn on your ignition to test the LED strips and your license plate light. And if everything looks good, you can go back through and tuck up any excess wires so that they're up and out of the way of any and all moving parts. And there you have it, folks. So if rocking a GT3 inspired rear wing is on your mod list, then be sure to head on over to slingmods.com today or click the link in the description below to grab a wing for your sling. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on everything slingshot. I'm Brandon signing out. Till next time.